Tax survey still on at BBC offices. Income tax action will continue on February 16th. Indian journalist associations condemn action. BBC sends guidelines to its employees. Woman killed in Delhi, body stuffed in freezer. 24-year-old's father once accused hanged. Shock over Shraddha-like murders in Delhi and Mumbai. In the run-up to the Karnataka elections, another shocker from Karnataka BJP chief. Nalin Kumar Katil says those who are ardent followers of Tipu should not remain alive on this fertile soil. Soldier on leave in Tamil Nadu thrashed to death after an argument with a DMK councillor. Councillor and eight others arrested. IIT Bombay accused of caste discrimination accusation by family of student who died by suicide. After Jacinda Ardern, Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon quits midway. Nicola Sturgeon says politics is brutal. And Cyclone Gabriel wrecks havoc in New Zealand. Three dead after massive flooding state of emergency declared china shuts down consular section in its embassy in pakistan citing technical issues development comes a week after it tells its nationals to exercise caution due to deteriorating security situation Hello, I'm Sneha Koshi and let's take you through all the top stories. The post-mortem reports of a 25-year-old Haryana woman, Nikki Yadav, who was allegedly strangled by her boyfriend with a charging cable and her body stuffed in a freezer revealed her death occurred due to suffocation. Her father, speaking exclusively to NDTV, says his daughter was a brilliant student and has demanded that the accused must be hanged. The alleged murder of a girlfriend, a shocking plot to hide the body and a wedding with another woman. All in just 24 hours. The victim, 23-year-old Nikki Yadav, strangled to death, allegedly by her live-in partner Sahil Gehlot, a 24-year-old farmer graduate. Sahil's family had fixed his marriage with another woman and Nikki, his girlfriend, did not know. When she did find out, there was a heated argument which ended in a strangulation with a data cable inside a car. Just like the infamous Shraddha Walkar case, accused Sahil stuffed the body of the victim inside a refrigerator at his dhaba in Haryana's Jajjar. Then he went to his parents' house barely 700 meters from where he hid the body and got married. A local who knew about his girlfriend reported her missing to the police and they came looking for Sahil at his parents' house. अगर ये शादी करने के बाद ये इस बॉडी को डिस्पोज कर देता तो बाद में बहुत दिक्कत आ जाती तो जो टाइमिंग था वो बहुत ही परफेक्ट था कि जो हमने इसको टाइमली इसको डिटेक्ट कर लिया तो हमारी टीम ने बहुत समय से इसको जो मेन साक्षी था बॉडी को रिकवर कर लिया वहां से फ्रिज की इसकी निशानदेही पे वो अकेला ही बहुत बड़ा साक्ष्य है जो कि इनको कन्विक्शन करने में सजा दिलवाने में काफी मददगार होगा उसके अलावा भी जो इन्वेस्टिगेशन की जो तमाम बारीकियां होती हैं उस पे हमारी टीम काम कर रही है द एक्यूज्ड हु लाइक आफताब पूनावाला कन्फेस टू हिज क्राइम इज नाउ इन पुलिस कस्टडी एंड हिज आज ओल्ड ब्राइड हु वाज अनअवेयर ऑफ साहिल्स गर्लफ्रेंड हैज गॉन बैक टू हर पेरेंट्स हाउस निकी वाज क्रीमेटेड लेस देन 24 आवर्स आफ्टर द बॉडी वाज डिस्कवर्ड एंग्विश्ड एंड आउटराइज्ड निकीज फैमिली हैज डिमांडेड द स्ट्रिक्टेस्ट पनिशमेंट फॉर देयर डॉटर्स किलर जिस आदमी ने मेरे बेटे को इसे में मत्ता करके मारा है उसके सजा ही मौत होनी चाहिए दिस इज द ढाबा वेर अक्यूज साहिल ब्रॉट द बॉडी ऑफ हिस्स 24 ईयर ओल्ड पार्टनर आफ्टर अलेजेडली स्ट्रैंगलिंग हर टू डेथ इट्स एन एब्सोल्युटली ग्रूसम केस द पुलिस से दैट ही स्टफ्ड द बॉडी इनसाइड अ रेफ्रिजरेटर द लार्जेस्ट स्टोरी हियर हाउएवर इज हाउ 20 समथिंग ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल्स आर लूजिंग देयर लाइव्स टू एब्सोल्युटली ब्रूटल क्राइम्स These are mostly girls from small towns living in Delhi away from their families. As more such cases come to light, questions are being raised as to what is being done to ensure their security in the national capital. This 
as Delhi continues to top the list of most unsafe cities for women. In New Delhi with camera person Sushil Rathi, Vedant for NDTV. The alleged murder of 24-year-old Nikki Yadav has really shaken the conscience of the entire nation. Many are calling this the rerun of the Shraddha murder case. But the fact of the matter is that a 20-something-year-old girl who had her life ahead of her, her dreams, all got shattered. She lost her life because of the brutality of one man. I am joined by the victim's father, Sunil Kumar Yadavji, and his elder brother as well, who has stood behind the family as a pillar of support. Sir, first of all, I will thank you very much for your heart that you have been able to talk to us in this moment. I will explain to you that I am asking you with a lot of grace that this is not possible for any child to talk to us. This is not possible for any child to talk to us. How do you want to talk to us, Nikki? I will tell you about this. Sir, you have to say something about us, those who are watching you. I would like to say this. My daughter, who has killed me, she has to be able to get the law of the law. Yes. And many things, many people are saying that they are like a victim, सब लोग याद करेंगे लेकिन क्या ऐसी चीजें हैं जो आप समझ रहे हैं जो गलत हैं जो गलत चीजें बताई जा रही मीडिया के द्वारा या फिर तमाम रिपोर्ट्स के द्वारा आप क्या क्या सच्चाई है आपके हिसाब से जो आप चाहते हैं कि लोग सुने निकी के बारे में भी और इस केस के बारे में भी क्या क्या वो सच्च चार साल से वो उधर ही होस्टल में थी गलगोटिया में और अभी आठ महीने से वो उत्तम नगर में एक छोटी बेटी भी है मेरी वो एमकॉम कर रही है वो दोनों एक ही रूम में लेके एक ही रूम में रह रही थी हमें इस बारे में कुछ नहीं पता वो लीविंग में रह रहे थे क्या रह रहे थे ये सब झूठ बोली जा रही है और मेरे ख्याल है एक आपकी रेगुलर बातचीत भी होती होगी कभी इस चीज का जिक्र किया या कभी कभी कोई जिक्र नहीं हुआ उसकी मम्मी की तो शाम को हर रोज बात होती थी उससे कभी ऐसा जिक्र नहीं किया कि कोई इस तरीके का इंसान है नहीं कभी ऐसा छोटे वाली लड़की को भी कुछ नहीं पता और उसकी मम्मी को भी ऐसा सब लोग उसको एक इस केस की विक्टिम की तरह याद करेंगे लेकिन उसके थोड़ा बताइए कि उसके क्या सपने थे उसने बचपन में बहुत मेहनत करी होगी पढ़ रही थी आपने बताया जैसे कि एमए फाइनल ईयर में थी तो क्या सपने थे उसके क्या बनना चाहती थी प्रोफेसर बनना चाहती हूँ गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज में प्रोफेसर बनना चाहती थी आप भी सर पूरी फैमिली के साथ इस मोमेंट पर ही इस इस एल्डर ब्रदर ऑफ द विक्टिम्स फादर आप भी पिलर ऑफ सपोर्ट की तरह खड़े रहे हैं फैमिली के लिए भी इस पूरे हमने क्रिमेशन में भी देखा लगातार आप साथ दे रहे थे आप बताइए सर कि कि कैसे आज याद करना चाहेंगे निक्की को सबसे पहला सवाल ये और दूसरा याद तो क्या करना याद हमारी इंटेलिजेंट बच्ची थी बहुत कुछ करना चाहती थी और ऐसे बीच में जिसने मर्डर किया है उसको फांसी की सजा होनी चाहिए और सभी कह रहे हैं लड़कियों को पढ़ाओ ये करो वो करो सेफ्टी कुछ है नहीं ऐसे मर्डर कर दिया कुछ भी नहीं हो रहा ना पुलिस वाले कुछ कर रहे उल्टा चला रहे हैं कि भी चार साल से रिलेशनशिप में रह रही थी झूठी अफवाह है सब दोनों बहनें रह रही थी साथ साथ तो ये तो बेकार की बातें हैं उसमें रह रही रिलेशनशिप में रह रही थी वो रह रही थी इंटेलिजेंट बेटी थी उसका मर्डर होना जो है वो गलत बात है सब कोस द फैमिली एब्सोल्युटली शैटर्ड a 20-something-year-old girl who had 
many dreams as her father was also just telling us that she wanted to be a professor in a government college all of those dreams shattered another girl has lost her life to an absolutely brutal crime in jajjar with camera person gauri prasad vedant for ndtv and uh, just the distressing story is continuing family of the 18 year old student who died by suicide in iit bombay was humiliated by his friends over his caste the family has told ndtv students collective of the iit bombay has demanded action uh, has demanded uh, the resignation of the director even as the institution iit bombay itself has denied allegations of caste discrimination <laughs> overwhelming grief at the Ahmedabad home of Darshan Solanki the 18 year old student at IIT Bombay who allegedly jumped to his death from the 7th floor of his college hostel on Sunday family members say Darshan had told them that he felt humiliated and isolated after fellow students came to know that he belonged to a scheduled caste usko torture kiya ja raha tha woh pareshan bahut ho gaya isliye dekhi himmat rakhi aap तो दर्शन उनके आधा घंटा बोले बात हुई थी और उन्होंने पिताजी को बोला था कि मुझे एक सब्जेक्ट ठीक नहीं गया है और उन्होंने बोला था कि चिंता मोहम्मद करो मैं मुंबई आ रहा हूँ ऐसा पिताजी ने उनको बोला था मैनेजमेंट का कहना है कि भाई हमारे पास कोई ऐसी कंप्लेट आई नहीं थी और हम जान चुके हैं लेकिन ऐसा हुआ ये अच्छी बात नहीं है After Darshan's death students at IIT Bombay organized a candlelight march a student group has alleged that students belonging to scheduled castes and tribes often face taunts and humiliation for allegedly being non meritorious they also said there was not adequate representation from scheduled castes among counselors and faculty after the statement from the family of Darshan Solanki now questions are being raised over the statement released by IIT Bombay The biggest question is, without even completing the inquiry, how did IIT Bombay even state that there is no caste discrimination in the campus? In Mumbai with Sunil Singh, Sohit Mishra, NDTV. The tax officials will continue to be at the BBC office for what they have called a survey exercise. Various media organisations have condemned the raids. Indian tax officials at BBC's Delhi offices for the second day continuing with what they call a survey sources in the agency say the BBC has refused to cooperate with information that had been sought for nearly a year relating to transfer pricing and sharing of profits income tax vibhag samay samay par jahan par aniyamitaye pai jati hai wahan par surveys karta hai और जब ये सर्वे का काम पूरा होता है तब वो अपना एक प्रेस नोट या प्रेस ब्रीफिंग करके जानकारी देते हैं तो मुझे लगता है जब ये इनकम टैक्स विभाग का सर्वे पूरा होगा वो जानकारी पूरी आपको डिटेल में दे देंगे ओपोजिशन इज अक्यूज देंटर ऑफ पोलिटिकल विंडेटर कमिंग एज इट डज वीक्स आफ्टर बीबीसी डॉक्यूमेंट्री ऑन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी विच द गवर्नमेंट सॉट टू बैन आई डोंट बिलीव दिस दैट बिकॉज बीबीसी इज डूंग समथिंग अगेंस्ट ऑफ दिस गवर्नमेंट and that's why just next day they started their operation like this 
This is a political vendetta. BJP is running the government through this vendetta only. So, अब जो इन्होंने कल किया है हमें चिंता देश की छवि की है We are not a banana republic, and we'll never be. In its first remarks, the U.S. government said it can't offer judgment in this case, but underscored the importance of a free press to strengthen democracy. We are aware of the facts of these searches, but I'm just not in a position to to offer a judgment. We support the importance of free press around the world as human rights that contribute to strengthening democracies around the world. It has strengthened this democracy here in this country. It has strengthened India's democracy. Press organizations have condemned the raids as harassment of the media, a clear-cut case of vendetta. And the Editors Guild of India says the trend of using government agencies to harass the press undermines constitutional democracy. BBC has asked its employees not to answer questions related to their income tax and also requested their employees to refrain from making any comments to the media and write anything on social media regarding the ongoing income tax survey. In New Delhi with Sunil Prabhu and Mohammad Musaleen, Saurabh Shukla for NDTV. And a 29-year-old soldier was killed after he was allegedly attacked by a DMK councillor in Tamil Nadu's Krishnagiri district. The soldier Prabhu served in Jammu and Kashmir. The police has said there was an argument between the soldier and the DMK councillor Chinnaswamy over washing clothes at a public tank. The soldier's brother, Prabhakaran, was also injured in the attack, according to the police. Later, the argument escalated into a full attack, with more men joining the DMK councillor in thrashing the two brothers on February 8th. Prabhu was admitted to a hospital where he died last night. It's time for a short break. Welcome back. And the Mega Air India order means massive economic knockoff. Thousands of jobs in Europe and USA. Vishnu explains. The mega deal for 470 Airbus and Boeing jetliners for Air India worth between 70 and 80 billion dollars will result in massive economic benefits across Europe, the US and in India. Now, Airbus is an international conglomerate. The British Prime Minister, for example, has welcomed the order, which the United Kingdom government says will support and create new highly skilled jobs in Wales and Derbyshire, helping to boost exports, grow the economy and level up the United Kingdom. Significantly, a portion of the manufacturing process for the new Airbus aircraft for Air India is expected to take place in the UK. The wings of the aircraft being acquired, for example, are being assembled in Broughton, which is expected to bring in an additional 450 manufacturing jobs, more than 100 million pounds of investment in Wales. The large A350 aircraft being acquired are powered exclusively by Rolls-Royce engines, which are assembled and tested in Derby. Across the Atlantic, in the United States, the deal has been welcomed by the U.S. President Joe Biden, who said this purchase will support over 1 million American jobs across 44 states, and many will not require a four-year college degree to be part of this manufacturing process. This announcement also reflects the strength of the U.S.-India economic partnership. Announcing the deal yesterday, along with the Tatas, the CEO of Airbus said that several key components of Airbus aircraft destined for Air India will be manufactured in our country. While the exact value of these components isn't known, Airbus does have existing industrial partnerships in India, which have already been involved in flight physics, simulation, modeling systems, and design engineering for the A350, which is now being acquired. Aircraft parts and components are being procured from Indian companies, Acus, Mahindra and the Tata Group itself for the A320 family of aircraft of which Air India has 210 on order. As significantly, engines for the 470 aircraft order worth several billions have gone to GE Aerospace. In addition to engines for Boeing manufactured Dreamliners and 777-9 jetliners, the order includes the largest order ever at a whopping 800 engines for the 210 Airbus A320 and 190 Boeing 737 MAX family aircraft being acquired. These are LEAP series engines manufactured by the company CFM, which is a 50-50 joint venture with General Electric Aerospace. 
Right. And the Kuno National Park is all set to welcome 12 semi-adult and adult wild cheetahs from South Africa on February 18th as part of the Narendra Modi government's mission to reintroduce the fastest moving animal in the wild of India. These enclosures at the Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh will be the home to 12 satellite collared wild cheetahs from South Africa who are being flown in from Johannesburg to Gwalior in an Indian Air Force cargo aircraft. With the arrival of the 12 South African cheetahs, Kuno will be home to 20 African cheetahs including the 8 Namibian cheetahs that were flown there on PM Modi's birthday last year. The first cheetahs in India after they were declared extinct in 1952. Government sources say the Kuno National Park is also ready with arrangements to release five of the eight Namibian cheetahs from the bigger enclosures into the wild. A cheetah safari for tourists is also on the cards. Look, there is a tiger state in Madhya Pradesh, there is a leopard state, there is a vulture state and there is a cheetah state. There is a chance to leave in February, because if we leave them in the big area, after that, we will leave them in the open, they are completely swast and present. But this female cheetah, Sasha, who is recovering from a liver kidney infection, will have to wait for her turn to be released into the wild. A key difference between eight Namibian cheetahs flown in at Kuno on 17th September and 12 South African cheetahs arriving on February 18th is that while all the South African cheetahs are wild cheetahs, few of the cheetahs flown from Namibia were bred in captivity in Namibia and that's why they took more time to acclimatize with the wild. In Bhopal, with camera person Rizwan Khan and Ajay Anuragdwari for NDTV.